Hey everyone, my name is Julia. I'm one of the creators of Kapwing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to exactly resize a video or a photo using a free online tool called Kapwing. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a LinkedIn banner using a free online image editing tool called Kapwing. So that is K-A-P-W-I-N-G. I'm just going to go ahead and type that into Google. It's the first result here. Now, I've used Kapwing many times before, obviously, so I'm signed in. This is what shows up when you're signed in. Um, but even if you're signed out, there's just a big click get, get Started button here that you can go ahead and click. Um, if you're signed in, you just go ahead and click New Project and start with the studio. So you'll start out um, with a, uh, you can either upload a, um, you can upload something if you want to like upload an image to get started with, or you can just start with a blank canvas. I'm going to go ahead and do this because I want to design an image from scratch. Um, the uh, digital canvas is by default square or one by one aspect ratio. You can see it here on the side. On the side. But um, I'm going to change this um, output size so that it's the right size for my LinkedIn banner. To do that, I first need to get the aspect ratio that's ideal for LinkedIn. So I am just have it here in this blog article. Um, it is 1584 um, by uh, 396. So I'm going to go ahead and come back to the Kapling Studio and click on Custom Size, which is this button here and then enter that aspect ratio. So 1584, I just pasted it for my clipboard, and 396, I remember that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Done to resize my canvas to be the ideal size for a LinkedIn banner. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and um, uh, design my canvas. So um, there's a few things you can use in Kapwing to get started with this. So uh, first of all, I'm gonna search for some sort of image background to use um, that represents me and sort of like represents me professionally. Um, so I love mountains and I also think they connote like a sense of adventure. So I'm going to go and search for mountains background in this um, image tool, image search tool, uh, mountains background. And then Kapwing will return a bunch of different backgrounds that I can choose from, ones that um, are different kinds of photos or designs. Um, I really like this one up here, this dark green one, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that to have it added directly to my canvas. You can see it's not quite big enough, so I'm just going to position it in place and then drag to, to uh, increase the size. There it goes. Um, so now the, um, the uh, background is in place. And the next thing I want to do is I'm going to upload an image of myself, like a headshot, um, uh, maybe something that isn't the same as my profile photo so that it kind of shows a different aspect of me professionally, uh, maybe me with my team. So I'm just going to drag this team in, team complaining. So here's an image that I want to use. Um, I can uh, position it where I want it to. I can um, resize it so that it's a little bit smaller or bigger. Um, I can add a little bit of rounded corners, which I think is, adds a nice design element um, here. And then I'm going to um, add text, which is the last part of my design. Um, I'm going to use uh, change the sample text to be a quote that I love, which is that done is better than perfect. I feel like this um, represents uh, me and my career uh, since I do a lot of scrappy things. Um, and um, yeah, I'm just going to uh, click done to add that to the canvas. Um, then I'm going to format the text to be a little bit more on brand. I'm going to make it right aligned so it fits in more with my design. I'm going to uh, make it bold and change the font to Railway, which is our brand font. Um, I also think I'm going to remove this background so that it's just, um, it doesn't have any background on it. And I expand the text a little bit so that it gets a little bit bigger. And there you have it. That's how you design your LinkedIn background. And um, you can do all sorts of other things like add in uh, shapes if you want to add, um, you know, different stuff. Like maybe I want to add a little rocket ship or something like that. Um, you can upload other photos or graphics um, that you want to use or search for them. Um, and that is how you make a um, uh, LinkedIn banner using this tool called Kapwing. Once it's done, you just go ahead and click publish in the upper corner. And your content is processed watermark free. Um, so Kapwing is totally free to use. Um, you actually don't even have to sign in to use it. Um, and then there is my LinkedIn banner. Um, I click download so that it's added to my computer. You can see here it's in my downloads folder. And then um, I just go to my LinkedIn profile. Let's see here. Uh, visit my profile. You can see here my, um, my current banner image is this one of me hiking because I love mountains, like I said. I click edit, um, that little pencil icon right there. Um, Click this other little pencil icon here. You can see those same dimensions recommended here by LinkedIn. And then <coughs> just choose to change this photo. So I'm going to click change photo and click on my uh, design that I made or that I downloaded from Kapwing. <coughs> and there you have it. That is how you design a LinkedIn photo. You just click apply to change the photo on your LinkedIn uh, banner. And uh, that's all. Thanks for using Kapwing. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for watching uh, this tutorial. Um, this whole video, of course, was made with Kapwings, um, so please check it out if you want to um, uh, 
get an online video editor that's actually simple to learn and fast. Um, Kapwing is, is actually free also. You can remove the watermarks entirely for free, as I demonstrated. Um, and we also make a lot of tutorials just like this for different digital media tasks. Um, so subscribe, click that subscribe button or comment below if you have um, other questions or want to see more tutorials or have ideas for future videos. Thanks. Bye.